Rhyddgair, located on the Isle of Anglesey, is situated between the mountains of Snowdonia and the edge of the Menai Straits. On a remote field about a mile from any road system, archaeologists have discovered a unique site under one metre of dirt dating back to at least the 8th or 9th century. This excavation in um, southwestern Anglesey at a site known as Rhythgaia was carried out um, in 2014 and 2015 um, as a result of trying to understand uh, a series of structures and fields which had been covered by windblown sand probably in the early 14th century. So they must predate this. The site first had a geophysical survey and then there was a small excavation in 2014 of part of one of the structures. And in this structure, um, which superficially looked like a house, they found, um, they, had, they took samples and these um, were radiocarbon dated and turned out to have an early medieval date in the 7th to 9th centuries. The first thing that had to be done was to carry out a geophysical survey and the purpose of this was to try and see what was under the sand before it was excavated and what was uncovered in the geophysical survey was a series of different phases of fields and also some small rectangular structures which might have been houses and it was one of these which we decided to investigate by excavation. All this area was buried in sand sometime around we think about 1330. Uh, there was a record that I, I think it was a hundred acres of land was buried by sand and several homesteads uh, in, in, in roughly in this area and that's what we're seeing. Uh, our excavation here was uh, the reason we started this excavation was because we knew that there was a Roman lead coffin found within the field somewhere here, but we didn't know exactly where. It was found in the 1870s and we, there's uh, records, two different records, which put it in different places. So we did a big area of geophysics across all these fields here uh, to try and find where the lead coffin was. Of course, we didn't find where the lead coffin was. What we found was this medieval landscape buried underneath the sand. Gwynedd Archaeological Trust, funded by CADU, headed up the two-week project, which brought experts and students from Bangor University, archaeologists and volunteers from the area to unearth what looked like dwellings and medieval farming fields. So all the, all the volunteers that came out on site had some form of training in the skills relating to archaeological excavation. Some of that would be an initial it's their first time out on an archaeological site, how to hold the trowel, how do things work on site, you know, how do you empty your buckets and all of that, and the health and safety that goes with that. And then as people develop, they learn how to record particular aspects of the site and different techniques that we use to do that recording. Obviously the, the training and the, the tasks that people were involved in was targeted according to their ability. We had a range of volunteers from those who've got many years of excavation experience to those it was their, their first go out on site. Students volunteers got involved with everything from GPS surveying, documenting ridge and furrow and uncovering a structure that is believed to be a part of a settlement site. Jones, doing good for dollar, about um, 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 Mae hanes gyd wedi cael eu sgwennu mewn llyfra, a wedyn o'r gwybodaeth yn eu cael yn y llyfra, dyn ni'n gallu mynd draw i safleoedd a profi os mae'r ffeithiau yn y llyfra yn gywir, a dyna beth dwi'n licio amdano archeoleg. The local community have been keen to get involved and learn more about the ancestry of their local land. 
I think a lot of people recently are developing quite a lot of interest in their heritage generally. Um, and also with programmes like Time Team, if there's a dig going on, quite often people think, oh, you know, that's interesting now. Whereas about 15 years ago, they might not have known what a, a dig might involve. At the end of the two weeks, Gwynedd Archaeological Trust held an open day where people of all ages could get up close and personal experience of the dig and get a better understanding of the people who lived in Anglesey hundreds of years ago. Um, this was unusually interesting because we find it very difficult to identify settlement sites um, for the entire early medieval period in Wales and therefore it was decided to go back in 2015 to excavate the structure in its entirety to try and understand its dating and um, its functions. And this was a uh, partnership project um, led by Gwyneth Archaeological Trust with uh, Bangor University and the students of Bangor University and volunteers from the area. And it was um, uh, funded by the Welsh Government through Cadu. Of course, now that the excavation is finished, there's still a lot to do. Uh, we have to carry out, or rather Gwyneth Archaeological Trust will be carrying out post-excavation analysis of um, the uh, structures and also more dates will go off for radiocarbon dating. And then we can perhaps try and see uh, when the people who were probably living in this house may have actually been there. And of course now there's no, nothing to see on the site because the site has been filled in in order to protect it for future generations. With the site preserved and protected for the future, the full understanding of the site and those who lived there is still being researched by archaeologists. Gwynedd Archaeological Trust hope their findings will enrich the history of Anglesey and North Wales and will continue to bring volunteers and curious locals to research the past for future generations. <laughs>